everyone. Uh, over the next uh, 35 to 40 minutes, we will be discussing about a very important opportunistic fungal infection, uh, Cryptococcus neoformans. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation. I will be talking about the etiology, that is the fungus itself, the pathogenesis, how does a uh, saprophytic microorganism become a pathogen, uh, the clinical features, how does these patients present you, and finally, a word about the management of this infection. Uh, Cryptococcus is a basidiomycete fungus. Uh, it has been called the sugar coated yeast because of its polysaccharide capsule. So, it is an encapsulated yeast, the capsule being the polysaccharide. Primarily, this species is an environmental saprophyte. It is found in soil contaminated with desiccated pigeon or chicken droppings. Uh, only two among all the species are uh, human pathogens and they are Cryptococcus neoformans and Cryptococcus gattii which are subdivided into several genotypes. How does uh, this uh, environmental saprophyte become a pathogen? Uh, this primarily causes disease in patients with defective cell mediated immune responses and globally the most important risk factor for cryptococcal meningitis is patients with HIV infection. Uh, other conditions which depress cell mediated immune responses, for example, glucocorticoid therapy, long term iatrogenic suppression, uh, solid organ transplant recipients, and hematological cancers are at increased risk. But it is important to understand that today we are seeing increasing numbers of patients with no identified underlying risk factors. So, because the patient does not have any known immunodeficiencies, do not discount the diagnosis of cryptococcal meningitis in the appropriate setting. The fungus enters the host by inhalation of either the yeast, dried yeast or the basidiospores and the initial uh, focus of infection in the lung which is asymptomatic in the vast majority of individuals. Uh, the fungus, uh, the virulence factors in the fungus are the most important virulence factor is its polysaccharide capsule. This capsule inhibits phagocytosis by neutrophils and macrophages. It also has the ability to downregulate cellular and humoral immune responses. The fungus also produces chemical compounds like melanin and mannitol which will inhibit phagocyte function. So, these are the important virulent factors of the fungus. The most common clinical manifestation of produced by cryptococcus is the meningoencephalitis. It can cause a disseminated infection, it can have diseases in other organs like lung and bones and prostate and skin. Uh, but the